I am delighted to have the opportunity to share with you some ideas concerning e-health development in international context. I'm very sorry I am not able to attend physically due to timetable problems. With the Brain Care IT project, you have developed methods for professionals in remote areas for virtual cooperation with other colleagues in order to support their work and skills. This is something we have to do within the whole healthcare system, increase cooperation within and with primary and secondary care and patients. This should also include social care and other relevant areas in need of cooperation. A big part of this cooperation would take place virtually in order to save both professionals and citizens time and get better access to this kind of activities. These activities could comprise, for example, consultations, meetings, lectures and all kind of e-learning activities. We need a change in our course of action from the standalone to a networking mode. Mode. Uh, these changes have to be made locally, but we can always develop ideas and learn from each other in national and international contexts. The European Union has been promoting digital changes in all areas of society, including social and healthcare. This work has been financed by different departments. departments. There have been countless different pilots, but the co coordination has not been the best possible. In order to create a clear strategy and clear goals for e-health e development, the Commission has created a coordination tool called e-health network. Its task is to choose strategic focus areas for e-health development. The e-health governance initiative is working on the tactic level and prepares material for e-health network decision making. The purpose is that in the future pilots will be working together and under coordination on these focus areas and cooperating with each other. The most important pilot at the moment is EPSOS which pilots core data and uh, e-prescription exchange. Finland is currently piloting e-prescription with Sweden. It is important that the cooperation, for example, on e-prescription in EU countries is based on common standards decided by the EU. This also applies to the e prescription exchange between Finland and the Baltic countries. countries. The Nordic countries have a long history of cooperation throughout the Nordic Council of Ministers. In 2011, the Council gave a mandate for AE Helsa Group to promote cooperation within eHealth. Focus areas is this work have been cooperation within the EU, EU strategic cooperation, work on e-health indicators together with the OECD legal issues, and since 2013 cooperation on e-prescription exchange in the Nordic countries according to EPSO standards. Finland has decided to implement a national data exchange layer based on Estonia x -Road. This decision is a good example of international benchmarking and learning from other countries. There is no need to invent the wheel once again. Ladies and gentlemen, we have different ways of arranging our healthcare and this is why our ways to implement new ideas and our courses of actions might be different. This does not mean that we couldn't work together. I would like to thank you for good cooperation within the Prime Care IT project. I'm looking forward to good cooperation in the future as well. 
have a nice time.